Welcome to the TechnologyCloset.com and our quick shots. In this quick shot, we're going to discuss application tiles. As you can see, we're on the start screen and we have a lot of little squares. These are the ones that come default. That is, they are installed by Microsoft at the time you purchased Windows. These are called tiles. You'll notice that some of the tiles are updating. They're changing. That's because they are, quote, live tiles. That means they're getting their information in real time off the Internet, as long as you have an Internet connection. We want to make sure that the start screen itself has the tiles that we most use. When we open Windows, if we are not a gaming person, perhaps we don't want to see the game tile. Here's how you remove the game tile from the start screen. Point to the tile, right mouse click, and you'll see a check mark in the upper right corner. Down at the bottom, you'll have some options. You can turn off the live update. You can make it larger. You can uninstall it, or you can unpin it. Now the difference between unpinning and uninstalling uh, are pretty drastic. Uninstalling actually removes the application from your computer. If you got the application from the application store, however, and you have an account with Microsoft, you can always get it back. We don't want to uninstall it. What we want to do is unpin it. Click the unpin from start. Now you'll notice that the tile has gone. But let's suppose we really want to get that tile back. I unpin the wrong tile. Move your mouse down to anywhere on the start screen. Right mouse click. From the bar at the bottom, select All Apps. Over on the left side, you'll see all of the existing apps that were installed at the time you all had Windows. And you'll notice that one of them is Games. Right mouse click on the Games icon. In this case, it's a small tile. You'll get the check mark, and you'll get the options to either uninstall it or to pin it to the start. We're going to select Pin to Start. Let's go back to the uh, Start screen by hitting the Windows key on your keyboard. There's our game. But wait a minute. I don't want it there. I want it back over in this area where it was originally. Point your mouse to the tile. Hold the left mouse button down. You'll notice that if you let it up, it's going to start the game. Well, we don't want to do that. And this is where you have to be very careful with your uh, finesse with the, uh, the mouse button. Hold the left mouse button down on the tile and drag it down to where you want it. If you don't want it there, put the left mouse button on top of the tile and drag it where you do want it. Right where it was before. This is how you can maneuver and unpin and change some of the tiles. If you want to stop the background activity, of course you do the same thing with any of them that are updating. In the case of the Bing map, right mouse click on it, get the check mark, and you can turn off the live feed. Bing will no longer update until you turn it back on. Right mouse click on Bing and turn live feed back on. But you'll notice that the Bing tile is wider than the other tiles. Can I change the size of that? Sure can. Right mouse click on, in this case, the Bing tile. And you have the option to make it smaller. Click on Smaller. Bing is still updating, but it is smaller. By doing this, you're trying to make all the applications that you want to use in your daily use of Windows on the Start page. So we want to make them as small as possible and we also want to make sure that we're not putting any on here that we really don't need. For example, I'm going to remove camera, video, and music. I think I'm even going to remove games. First, I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard, right mouse click on each of the tiles, 
that I want to unpin, in this case all four, I can clear the selection, I can go back and re-select uh, them again, and I can unpin. I can take one of my other applications, like the uh, calendar for example, and move it over to where the Bing tile is. Let me show you something about some of these applications though. I'm going to move the calendar back to where it was. Now you'll notice that we have on some of these tiles, again, that were installed by Microsoft, we can set up our mail client. That is, we can send and receive mail, but it has to be set up by us. We can receive instant messaging. We can check photos, photos that we have taken, that we have downloaded off the internet, and have stored in various folders for retrieval. We can also set a calendar. They give us something called SkyDrive, which is nothing more than cloud storage, but they give us, they being Microsoft, they give us seven gigabytes of storage, which is quite a lot for storing things such as documents, pictures, videos, etc. I want to show you something quickly about these tiles, though. In the case of Calendar, Store, Maps, SkyDrive, just for name a few, if I select one of these, and I'll select Calendar, left mouse click on the tile, it says add your Microsoft account. If you do not have a Microsoft email account, you cannot use this function. If you try to save it, it tells you please enter your sign-in information and try again. If you try to cancel it, it tells you you aren't signed in as a, with a Microsoft account. Try again. You click try again, and it brings you back to the same thing. And this, can, this can go on and be frustrating. So what you have to do is either one of two things. Either you create the account by signing up for an account, or you simply close the application by uh, grabbing the top of the edge of the, t of the uh, screen and dragging it down to the bottom, which we showed you in an earlier video. I recommend that you do open up an account. It's an email account that you can be used for anything. Uh, it will allow open more doors for you to use the store and other features. Well, that's it for this particular quick shot. Please visit our website at thetechnologycloset.com and press the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Until next time.